Hello everyone, I'm Humam Ali reporting for Xinhua News Agency from Aleppo city in northern Syria. We are now in the eastern part of Aleppo. This is the old city, uh, which uh, constitutes of several neighborhoods and also uh, covered souks or marketplaces. Uh, this area, as we can see, has witnessed a lot of uh, damage and uh, destruction because it was in the hands of the militants. Uh, the eastern part of Aleppo, which was under the rebel control for many years, was liberated in December of 2016. Of course, after the liberation, life has started gradually returning to this place and rehabilitation process started, maybe on a low scale, but we can see work is being done to uh, rehabilitate this uh, place. Uh, so uh, here we are now um, in front of one of the souks, one of the ancient souks of uh, Eastern Aleppo, uh, which called uh, Souk al sakatiya uh, Okay, so this place has been with the rebels for many years, and uh, now we can see that after the liberation of Aleppo, we can see workers, construction workers, uh, uh, trying uh, to fix uh, the damages here. Uh, as we uh, can see, um, there's uh, this banner uh, on the top of the gate of this souk, which uh, also says that the project duration is eight months. It has started in uh, November last month, uh, so it uh, will need eight months for this place to be rehabilitated. Of course, this souk is part of uh, a huge uh, covered souk in Aleppo uh, city. Uh, so now we're going to go inside and take a look at the rehabilitation work, at the workers who are uh, doing their job trying to uh, fix uh, the damage that has befallen uh, this place. Um, so now we are getting inside this souk. Of course, this is an ancient souk, as we have mentioned. This is part of the old city of Aleppo. The stones, as we can see on the walls, they are ancient uh, uh, stones. And uh, of course, we can see all of those uh, places. Uh, this, the, the ceiling, the roof here, and the upper part of the wall is actually blackened uh, because of the uh, of the fire uh, because uh, it, when the rebels were here they actually they were said that they set fire this place on fire um, so as we can see uh, the, the, the destruction or the damage in this place is uh, still uh, being seen despite the the um, the reconstruction process that has started a month ago of course this will take more months but we are in the first step uh, we can also uh, see so this is a, the a small uh, gate just to keep people from uh, getting inside it says uh, restoration works in, pro in progress and that uh, Okay, so this is what it is. So we will enter now and uh, try to speak with the uh, with the, the, one of the engineers who is responsible or who is in charge of uh, this uh, project. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, I'm engineer Basil Zahir, uh, the contractor of uh, rehabilitation of this soup. Okay, so uh, can you uh, tell us more about this process? Uh, how long it will take? We read that it will take eight months. Uh, do you think that the size of uh, the damage in this place needs more time or eight months? Uh, we are talking here about uh, only Subsaqatiya, which is uh, 100 meter uh, length. So the uh, all the souks in the city, it's uh, 12, uh, 12 kilometers. We are talking about only 100 meter now. From uh, this is a start point, and the end point is over there. Uh, we begin with this soup to be a pilot project, to be um, a, a project for the future projects to be the same. So it's very uh, it's very sensitive. The work here is, it should be at the highest level of uh, principles of restoration. Uh, the project uh, funding is coming from Aga Khan Trust for Culture uh, with a partnership with uh, the government of uh, Syrian Arab Republic with uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, Antiquities, uh, Syrian Trust. So everybody is involved in this project and uh, it should be uh, the best way possible for the future projects. Okay, if we may move forward and uh, take a further look about uh, the, the work what, that's what you are done. seeing here is a, a test a test area uh -huh. 
that we did for uh, to see how the the whole soup will be in, uh, in the fi when we finish. So how do you see this uh, as you may say first step? As you can see, you you will see only stones. There is no violations on the on the walls like on because the other soups. Yes, this is ancient walls, but it was there was a, a shutters on the walls. There was a lot of violations from the owners. There was ACs, everything. Now what, what we did, we want to see these arches with the, the natural stone. This is after cleaning, after repointing. We did the ceiling. We did a test of for uh, lighting, test for doors, two samples to choose from. Uh, we did four samples of uh, the arches of the steel to, to, to choose from. We are doing a few samples also for the floors uh, to see what is the best way and how it will be look in, at, at finish and it, uh, if it will be like the plans we did. It's exactly like the plans. Okay, so uh, we may say that you're not only uh, trying to restore this soup, but you're trying to reveal the original design of this because throughout the years, the owners, as you have said, uh, they violated some of the yes, construction. Th that's right. We have uh, two, 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 uh, two things in this project. One is to restore the soup from the uh, uh, terrorist attacks. And the second one is from the violations through the years. Uh -huh. So these walls are actually original walls? This is original walls after we, uh, we did the test of repointing also. There was a lot of uh, ceramics and uh, everything and now you have the natural wall. So this project is actually to reveal the, yes. the, the historical part of this uh, soup. Can you imagine after it will be finished all of this like this one, like this wood, with this arch, they choose this arch with this wood, by the way. Can you imagine how amazing it will be with the lighting, with everything, with this? The new elements we are adding, to, this is a touch. It's not historical, but it will be very nice at the finish. Uh, so uh, we, we hear a lot that the people in Aleppo are hard workers. Uh, so uh, are you optimistic about this first step about the future? I'm very optimistic because uh, wh what we are doing now is something we didn't did through the years. It's uh, the first of its kind. It's something nobody has, be has done before ever. That you are uh, uh, redoing all the souks to be the same when the first thing they built. This, uh, this is an amazing project. As I said, it will be a pilot project for the whole all city of Aleppo. Uh, so, um, do you think that uh, the the uh, that there are any obstacles? Do you have? Do you face any obstacle? Any challenges uh, during uh, your your course of work here? Of course, there is no work without that. Uh, we had some problems before. For example, uh, let me show you the the dome here. Was uh, it, there was a dome and. It was, there is um, uh, uh, explosions out there it was still there and we found it like a, a, a missile a missile yes and uh, the, they came and removed it for example we had some problems to find uh, the right kind of stones we are trying to not to bring a new stones what we are doing is doing the restoration with all the stones as you can see here. This is all... So you are trying to put the stones back together? You yes. mean? We, we are trying to use uh, only uh, old stones. Like you see here, it's all old stones. We are reconstructing this wall with the new, with the new but old stones. So do you think that this is a challenge for you? Have you ever thought that you, one day you would be in charge of this? It was, uh, it was like uh, my passion, my dream to, to work like to, in a project like this. Uh, and it come, came true. Uh, so as we uh, can see also, there is a, a long way over there. So the, the souk ends there? Our souk, it ends right here. This is here. the 100 meter we are talking about. Uh -huh. 
So um, uh, we heard that uh, this took uh, before the war uh, that uh, butchers and grocery stores were in this yes. place. Uh, so um, do you think that people are so, um, that they are hoping to come back soon here? Like, do you see like you do you usually see the owners of these places coming over and just checking on their places optimistic about returning yes. look it's not only this so uh, a lot of people in the souks here in this area they are waiting us to finish to come back they are optimistic to to reopen but now they can't because there is no uh, no a lot not a lot of uh, movement here when we finish this, we're hoping that not only this souk, also the other souks around will open because you know how it's the souk working. It's working depending on each other. When you have a, a market of uh, clothing with the market of uh, uh, meat or something, they are depending on each other. So we are hoping that everybody will open and uh, we hope also that the other souks will continue restored like this thank you very much thank you, thank you. Uh, so as we have uh, heard from the contractor the engineer who is in charge of uh, the rehabilitation process of this uh, souk uh, people are so uh, eager to return to their normal lives and the work is being done uh, the, we can feel, we can sense the determination uh, of, of the people here and uh, we also, there is one point that we need to stress that pe really the people of Aleppo, they are known for a long, long time that they are hard workers. Uh, every time uh, we come to Aleppo, uh, we see something new. They're not just letting it go. They are so persistent. We can sense the perseverance of, of the people, the workers, even fixing a building, fixing a souk, or even fixing a square. Uh, there's a lot of effort being exerted here in order to restore Aleppo, uh, which is the, the economic capital of Syria, to, to what it used to be before. Um, and to restore this uh, historic heritage, this the covered souk of Aleppo, as the contractor said, it's 12 kilometers. It's so huge, it's so large, and um, and also this ancient place, this specific place of the old souk, the old covered souk, it's all. It was also a stop on the old, uh, the ancient uh, Silk Road. Uh, so so this has a, a historic meaning. A historic. It's a treasure. It's not only some old place being repaired. It's not only a building building that was damaged or a street that was damaged uh, during the war but it's a heritage it's a treasure that is being restored with the determination of people who are hoping and who are um, dreaming uh, about uh, restoring their city back uh, to what it used to be uh, so um, this is one example only. There are other areas who were maybe less damaged uh, during the war uh, that has returned, uh, operating some shop owners return. Um, so we may go and take a look uh, there and to, 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 to see the contrast uh, between this area that is being fixed and other areas that has been already fixed and people started returning to them. Just so stay tuned. This is another part of the old souk or the old marketplace uh, of Aleppo, uh, in the eastern part of Aleppo. This is uh, also one of the historical uh, sites and one of the historical uh, souks or marketplaces. Uh, this is called uh, Souk al nahasin or the copper uh, marketplace, uh, which used to uh, produce uh, various uh, copper materials uh, such as vessels, uh, kettles, uh, and other uh, house uh, wear. Um, during the war, of course, this area has sustained a lot of damage because it was also in the eastern part, which was under the rebel control. Uh, but um, in recent months, uh, people started fixing their shops and returning. Of course, the size of damage is still big and it's still noticeable. But what is also noticeable is that some shop owners, they have started fixing their own shops. Like as we can see this one over here, the uh, shatter is a new. Uh, we can see it, it's new and it's in comparison with this uh, shop, for instance, which is still uh, damaged uh, um, and needs a lot of um, uh, repair.
but as we move forward we we st we hear actually people people started returning to these areas we hear bicycles we see passers-by we hear this knocking and uh, this is from uh, a place uh, who is specialized in making copper uh, products uh, he returned uh, to uh, to this place as well so as we can see people are walking here they're returning they're bringing life back with them uh, after this area has sustained a lot of damage and has seen um, vicious war uh, in this part uh, of Aleppo which uh, as we uh, said was under the militant uh, control some of which were ultra radical ones uh, so as we approach this place for instance this is uh, this guy has apparently fixed his his, his shop over here and he's uh, making um, the copper materials um, as we can uh, notice <laughs> He has opened his shop two months ago. Uh, he's preparing his gears and his tools uh, to to launch his um, his career again. شايفين عندك شوية أشياء أنت بلشت شغل يعني هلا ولا على الهادي؟ على الهادي لأنه ما عنا عدة يعني عم بلش من الأخف شيء ونحلا نطلع على Mm. So he said because he lost all of his tools, so he has like a soft opening, if we may say, uh, and he has done some uh, small products. But he said that uh, launching his his job uh, completely demands uh, like uh, new tools, which he is uh, now uh, collecting. Uh, هدول النحاسيات؟ ايه هلا هدول شغلنا هدول طريقة مصاطر وشي اجزاء اجزاء جبون نبلش نشتغل له عليهم so he has made some prototypes these copper handmade so هاي لشو هي هاي بتستخدم؟ هاي بتستخدم للشوربة شوربة العدس شوربة الرز Uh, so this is used uh, for the uh, soup. Uh, people use it for um, soup, and he has made uh, several ones uh, as a as a pr prototypes because he said that he keeps them here uh, to uh, show uh, the customers about his work, and if they want, they can uh, order uh, some of it. انت تركت محلك هي خلال خلال الحرب. هذا إلك محل. إيه محلي إيه. تركنا من سنة ال 2011. هلا رجعنا عليه بال 2018 اخره صرنا شهرين فاتحين هون لانه انت صلحت محلك بايدك ولا ولا جبت حدا صلحه ولا ما كان لا لا صلحناه بايدنا انه ما في سيوله بايدينا آه. اجباري يعني بتعرف الوضع انت وما حدا انا سبع سنين وقت اكل تقريبا شيء اربع خمس شهور انا عم بظبط فيه آه. عندي ومهلي اه سو سو هي سيد ذات He uh, left his uh, shop in 2011 and he returned in 2018. He, he uh, worked in repairing his shop by himself because he doesn't have enough cash to, to hire people to, to fix it for, them, for him. He said this process uh, took him uh, around six months till he uh, finished uh, this initial reparation. Is this the most important place? Is this the most important place? لا لسه بده تصليح بس هيك مؤقت نحن نمشي حالنا مشان نشتغل يعني نبلش نشتغل يجينا مصرات مشان نرجع نظبط. اه. So he said that this kind of reparation is temporary uh, and it needs a lot more but he said that what he has done has just enabled him uh, to 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 open and to start doing something. يعطيك العافية شكرا لك. So right next to him there is another shatter also and uh, on the other side we can see uh, the scars of war and we can see the, uh, the, um, the damage and destruction of these areas uh, and as we have mentioned uh, people are showing determination to, to return to their uh, old lives to have their um, shops um, repaired and to, to, to just make Aleppo as it, as it used to be before the war and uh, to this, of course, this historical and ancient area which has uh, a lot of uh, significance uh, to it.
so it may take you mo years more to 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 uh, have these areas back to what they used to be uh, of course what we are witnessing now is is the efforts of the people to restore their lives and to at least uh, do something because as we have uh, said about their determination they are so determined to to return to their lives and they have uh, big hopes uh, big hopes in the future and uh, to regain what they uh, have lost uh, during this uh, vicious war uh, in, uh, in, in Aleppo. So amid this destruction we can still hear life beating here and this is another place that is making also uh, copper uh, products يعطيكم العافية مرحبا كيفك؟ تقلنا قد ايه سمك فاتح محلك هون؟ ست سنين ما انت ما سكرت خلال الفترة هي؟ ما سكرت؟ محلك ما سكر؟ سكرنا ست سنين تمام ما شفنا سوق نهائي ست سنين ما عدنا شفنا سوق نحاسين نهائي يعني تقريبا من سبعة ثمان شهور سنة تقريبا صار لي رجعان نظامي سنة أول واحد رجع بالسوق أنا الحمد لله Uh, so uh, this guy over here, he said that he has uh, be, he has left uh, uh, he had left his shop for six years when the war was raging in Aleppo, and he returned here a year ago. He said he was the first guy to return. He was the first shop owner to return to this souk, and as we can see, he's uh, uh, now doing uh, his job in his shop. So this is another example of, uh, of the people who have started returning. Of course, uh, we don't see people on a very large scale, like it's not everything is open because of course uh, there are a lot of shops that uh, they suffer more destruction maybe and their reparation needs more, more time and more cash, of course. Um, but as we move forward, as we, as we look around, uh, we can see people um, around and uh, some of them repairing some of them have, have already returned uh, to their uh, shops and also to homes nearby. We can also see people in some buildings even though uh, the, the, the size of uh, the damage is uh, still uh, noticeable. So this is another place also. Uh, we see uh, copper chandeliers, lamps. So this guy is drinking coffee in his shop. يعطيك العافية. امتى رجعتوا على المحل هون ولا ما طلعتوا انتوا؟ والله نحن طلعنا ورجعني صلحت محلك انت بايدك ولا؟ صلحناه طلعنا الضرابية وظبطناها كذا بعدين اشتغلنا الحمد لله. كل شيء المغلوب ساوينا. يعني هلا مدجينا احنا ما في لا ضرابية ولا في شيء بنات كلهم ظبطناهم. كله زبطت ايه كله فهمت الجيش وقت دخل الجيش جينا هيك دخلنا صار سنتين عم نشتغل الله يخليك صحه صحه شكرا دو هيك قهوه في عمرك كله ما يشرب دو لا لا وضيف ولا الشباب شاء اذا طيبه شكرا طيبه الله يخليك تفضل استاذ انت شو شو بتحس انت لما رجعت على محلك اول ما فتت عليه شو كان احساسك؟ والله الحمد لله يعني ورجعنا يعني يعني فرحه ما بتنوصف يعني رجع على شغله ورجع على العمل ورجع على المحل يعني بالعكس يعني شعور ما منصف وعم بتحس انه انت عم بتشجع الناس ترجع على هذا طبعا لك ان شاء الله كل عم ترجع تشتغل تقول يلا برجع السوق ما كان ان شاء الله واحسن ان شاء الله سو And this guy also uh, left his shop for uh, long years for six years and he returned recently also about a year ago maybe and uh, he said that he also repaired his shop uh, by his own hands he said that uh, a lot of things were missing uh, and he fixed them uh, and that he, when he first returned uh, when he first returned to this to his shop um, his happiness was uh, he was speechless about you know uh, explaining his happiness and uh, and he said that uh, uh, he and others who were the first to return they are actually uh, encouraging others to return. So when uh, the shop owners uh, here um, see these 
their neighbors actually back they get encouraged and maybe we have seen only three shops here but um, more than 10 shops have already returned and we can see that there is a, a reparation process in other shops also because we see new shatters uh, on, on other uh, shops which are closed but of course the reparation hasn't uh, been uh, finished yet um, so this is part of uh, of of the the uh, the initial uh, reconstruction process that is taking place now in Aleppo, which uh, was a com the city which was completely. Um, uh, liberated from the militant uh, groups in uh, December of 2016. A lot of work uh, uh, needs to be done, but uh, these first steps are being taken and people are showing determination and hope uh, to restore their lives as it used to be before.